At last, 11 years after it was announced, the Taoyuan Aerotropolis project has entered active development. The Taoyuan city government has begun meeting with locals one-on-one -on -one to buy the right to build on their land in the Taoyuan airport area. Nearly 200 land expropriation meetings have been scheduled with landowners for the coming weeks. Taoyuan Mayor Zeng Wen-chan said the city would ensure the housing justice of residents in the area. To pave the way for the Taoyuan Aerotropolis, city officials have planned a full slate of meetings with local property owners. The municipal government is scheduled to hold 158 meetings to negotiate deals over superficies. These will be one-on-one -on -one meetings meant to ensure the rights and interests of our residents to the maximum extent. Earlier this year, a plan to build a third runway passed its environmental impact assessment. A land expropriation proposal also got the green light to proceed. Now the Taoyuan city government is moving to strike deals with the locals. According to one internet user, the city is looking to secure below market deals of 80,000 to 95,000 NT per ping. Taoyuan's mayor gave a forceful rebuttal on Monday. This internet disinformation is liable to create lots of trouble. We will not give carte blanche to demolition. We intend to make the demolition process reasonable. We will adopt the most flexible terms possible for zone expropriation in Taiwan to maximize the protection of residents' rights. The Taoyuan Aerotropolis project kicked off in 2009. Eleven years later, it's finally reached the active development stage. Once complete, the Taoyuan Aerotropolis will comprise nine parks and five major development zones integrating trade, aviation, sports, shopping, leisure and agriculture. It's envisioned as a key step to Taoyuan becoming a first-tier international city. City officials say they will see to housing justice as they carry out expropriation, providing not only compensation but also new property to residents who surrender the land. We are resettling 1,200 households. There are three resettlement areas already sorted. We want to build the new housing first, before having them leave their property, to ensure that the residents are protected to the fullest during the resettlement process. The mayor vowed to ensure housing justice, maximum compensation and other support so that locals can benefit from the development projects.